What's good y'all? It's your girl Kayla and I am back with another video as you can see. Um, if first and foremost, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining in. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate each and every one of y'all. Before we get into this video even further, also please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video with any of your friends that may be interested in trying to conceive or even trying to conceive as a single parent. Please feel free to share this video with them. So, I do want to address something because... I really like to try to keep the you know vibes on my channel positive but sometimes when you're trying to conceive and you're trying to conceive by yourself or when you have a condition like endometriosis it's not always cupcakes and rainbows it's not always easy and I don't want to have like negative content but it has to be said today's video should have been me reviewing different ovulation kits and talking about, you know, getting ready for my first IUI that's in October and all this other stuff. But the reality is I still have not ovulated. I've been off the pill since the last week of May and my body still has not ovulated. I did get that positive OPK while I was in Mississippi, but then my cycle came just a couple hours later which was also 13 days, I believe. Don't call me, basically two weeks, almost two weeks early. My period's usually consistent, but it was almost two weeks early and I have not gotten a positive ovulation test since. Um, so I did take some time off. Uh, after a while, I was testing all month and whatnot and eventually I just, I got tired my period came and I just took time off. I didn't track my body temperature during my period and I gave it a good like five days after my period without tracking my body temperature, which all this time I've been tracking every day regardless of period or not. So I know what my period body temperature is like and you know, everything else. And I just kind of got tired because I started to beat myself up because yeah that's what happens sometimes um but i will say i'm not quitting clearly you know there was bound to be some sort of hiccup along the way and my hiccup is just me ovulating it is what it is it's not fun but it's me ovulating so right now we're trying holistic remedies still i need to call my what is it the acupuncturist basically instead of an appointment with them I haven't been able to because I started my practicum training and that was literally from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day or was it 8 30 whatever it was basically you know all day and then I had my grad school night classes from four to seven most days and it was just, it was a lot. This past week was finals. And then uh, next week I start my practicum and then I start classes again. So it's just trying to find time in between all of this to still go to these appointments, get these appointments done so I can still, you know, ovulate and conceive. So this week, that is the game plan, you know, get everything settled in with my practicum in school because this is going to be a lot that I'm out of practice with. I'm out of practice with doing practicum plus grad school plus working and now TTC all in it. So it's going to take me a week or so to, um, to really get back in the groove, but thankfully you don't get acupuncture five days a week, or at least not to my knowledge. So there should be at least, you know, one or two days that I can look at with their schedule where I can get in to see the acupuncturist and get in to see the chiropractor. So that is my goal for this week, just taking it easy, still taking my basal body temperature, and I 
I do have ovulation kits once it's time. My, according to my predictor thing on flow, and I don't even bother with thermometer at this point, um, I should ovulate in five days. So I'll start taking my ovulation tests around that time to make sure that I'm ovulating. If not, I will check back in, you know, the next week and do my thing, you know, seeing if I can catch whenever I'm ovulating. Also comparing it with my body temperature, the adjustments in that and all that wonderful stuff. So yeah, that is the name of the game. Right now I am focusing on school and practicum. If you don't know what practicum is, it's basically the grad graduate school version of an internship um, where I'm getting my hours and a few of those hours go towards my license. So right now that is the name of the game. This week I will be calling the chiropractor and the acupuncturist to go ahead and get things set up. I do have some herbs, some supplements that I'm going to start taking to help my body go back to regulating itself, basically, you know, so it can start producing eggs like it should. Now, the thing that's really not, it, the thing that's helping me stay calm in all of this is the fact that I always have a plan B. I may not go back to my reproductive endocrinologist, but I do have my OBGYN and there are other fertility treatment centers in San Diego that I can look into. So if everything fails and we get all the way through December of trying and I still can't ovulate, I will go ahead and start seeking you know, medicinal help from my doctor or a reproductive endocrinologist, whichever one, and just do it that way because, yeah, this is going to be a long journey. It's going to be a long and tiresome journey. I already know that that's what they already warned us about, and there's no need for me to work myself up and stress myself out about things that I know that can most likely be taken care of with medicine if all else fails. I prefer a holistic thing, but <clears throat> if I do need to go the medic medicinal route, it is what it is. Do, at the end of the day, do what's best for you, do what's best for your body. I wanted to go with a midwife. I can still get her for, you know, prenatal birth and postpartum services. That is fine. Um, so yeah, I think at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is, I hope you guys are all doing great in your journeys. I hope you're not running into hiccups. If you are, let me know, comment down below and we can talk about it. But whatever those hiccups are, there's always some other route that we can try. We just have to continue to fight and not beat ourselves up about it. Don't beat ourselves up about it. That is the biggest issue because we already have so many other things to stress about. We can't be our own, you know, enemy too. So, sorry this video was a little heavy, but it had to be made and it had to be said. I can't sit here and just pretend like everything is all cupcakes and rainbows as much as I want to. Um, but yeah, that's just where I'm at right now. I'll let you guys know how things are going according to my flow app um i should be ovulating somewhere between because today is sunday so somewhere between friday and next sunday i should be ovulating around then so maybe i'll let you guys know if i ovulate if not we're gonna keep trying <laughs> But yeah, you guys, please hit that like button if you like this video, you want to continue to see more TTC, SNBC content. Don't forget to comment down below where you're at in your journey. If you have any advice or if you have anything that you want to talk about, 
and don't forget to share subscribe share and hit that notification button and i will see you guys next week bye